pretend you're a girl, okay? Still, you're a heterosexual dude. Pretend you're a girl. Someone is going to put a d in you. Ugh, ugh. Someone's going to put a d in you. How f***ing perfect would they have to be? How good would you have to feel before a f***er uh, put a p <laughs> inside of you, right? And they're like, no, you just think you're going to be a f***ing slob and f with messed up teeth and go up and just grab her inappropriately. Oh, of God. course she doesn't want to have f with you, bro. Just imagine what that experience must... Oh, God. But again, no... The, no shame that's to cool. any of my, my clients who are homosexual. That's not it. Obviously, for you, it would be a different experience. But for me, yeah, as a man, I'm like, I'm trying to re relate. You know, the reason why when I have a threesome, we don't invite another guy is because guys are gross. They're f***ing gross. And I don't want another f in the room. because uh, so, so that's the whole thing, right? So when I, say that, when I say that to dudes, I'm like, now just imagine you're a woman like that. How high would your standards have to be? You guys want a short-term sexual partner with some Playboy model, and she has a choice of any dude she wants, and she's going to pick you why is she gonna pick you because the way you make your, make her feel because your <laughs> sliders are all the way up to 80 or 90 or 99 in some cases those slider those attributes are up there but you can't have all these he's good looking he's rich he's tall and his breast smells like gross like sulfur <laughs>